Hey everybody, it's your girl T and you know, welcome back to my channel. So, here we are with our one year lock update. I am, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, round of applause. It has been a year, this actually was a year on the second, but it's all right, just bear with me. So, this has been one hectic year. It has not just been a hectic year of hair wise, but, you know, we've been in a pandemic. We had an election. We, I just feel like we had in one year time. Well, yeah, this year, 2020, we have had a decade's worth of events happen in a single year. That's just my personal take on it. So, I felt like this was, a, when I started my hair journey it was a perfect timing i actually started it right before the pandemic so that like you know the pandemic really pushed me into like just being comfortable we're not really going places we're not really doing anything like i said in my other uh videos and it's still true to this day one year when i locked my hair i got rid of well i didn't get rid of i stopped using my wigs I, I have never put braids or twist or anything like that over my locks I leave my hair alone and I'm gonna tell you why I do that I do that because I have very small locks as you can see let's go let's get up on the, into it I probably have some like lint or something somewhere or it could be light but anyway so I have um, you know, I had to, I, bleh, let me get my words together. I, stopped, I have never put anything like that over my hair. And it's because I went so small. I didn't want anything to damage my locks, but that made me actually really get comfortable with my locks. I don't, you know, I'm not really into the whole baby edges things. I think that when I decided to lock my hair, I was really jumping in with both feet. Let's go ahead and do it. So I keep everything simple still. You know, one kind of shampoo for the most part. Um, I keep my oils light. I love using Keisha Charmaine's products. I have been, I have used her horsetail growth leaf her horsetail leaf growth oil and that is my go-to i have also recently been using her lime it's like a limited edition so i don't know if it'll still be you know when you see this if you'll be able to still get it so i use that i keep it very light very simple when it comes to moisturizing your hair you can only moisturize your hair with one thing water Listen to me. You can only moisturize your hair with water. So like those creams and stuff, those typically are water-based. So I try and keep it, you know, a little sprit. Then I coat it with an oil and that's it. I'm done with it. Um, I haven't been as diligent lately as it's like really maturing more. I have not been as diligent. We're going to get up all up in this area i haven't been as diligent with wearing like my bonnets like okay so this is something that we have built up i have built up here and then these two right and a couple of them so when i go in and this is why what happened was i most recently just got my hair retwisted now for the most part as y'all know i maintain my own hair for the most part I have had my hair professionally touched by someone's hands after I got my initial locks three times, three times. And the last time she did great with getting that new growth in there, but I think she put like spritz on my hair. Like I, I swear she put like spritz on my hair to hold. And so we have left build up. So that kind of stuff, keep that out your hair. But what I will do is I'll probably do an apple size. Okay, tell them they're in the bath. Tell them to get out and to get you your peanut butter, okay? You tell them. Tell them, get out the bathtub and get you your peanut butter. No, it's not. Girl's ring. She ain't everywhere. So, I will not do that again. 
Uh, she did great work outside of that. So I would just be more vocal. Hey, look, let's not spritz it. I don't want to do that if I decide to, you know, go and get that done again. So, y'all, I love my hair. I love my hair. And we have, let's get a little bit more. Bop, bop. Uh, try and keep them separate. I only retwist my hair every uh, six to seven weeks. Six weeks is the prime time, prime time to get down time. But I, I typically, I typically don't even hit eight weeks. Like that's just doing too much. That's just, that's just too long. I still like to be somewhat, you know, put together and all that. I have. <sighs> Some people ask me if I will color my locks, and I don't know. I have not put color on my natural hair, like color on my hair, since 2011. Since December of 2011. So, I'm, I don't think, I don't know. I don't also really, this is the healthiest my hair has been. So, I don't want to, I don't want to damage it. I don't want to do all that. I love the low maintenance and how naturally moisturized my hair has become. So, I still want to keep that, you know, as simple as can be. As simple as can be, people. Okay. So, it has, it's been one hell of a year, y'all. We've had election. We have had, we've been living through covid and there's a lot of growth when your hair, it is a journey. So as I see my hair completely change and grow and all of that as it's going through this lock journey, it makes you reflect on all the things that have happened in that past year. So here's a little timeline of the one year of my lock journey. Lost my hair on the 2nd of November on the... 11th of November, my family lost my grandmother. And that was, ooh, okay. So then we go into the beginning of the year. My, so my family lost my grandmother. Then, uh, you know, the, the, the year was coming along. We had Christmas. Christmas was, was still really nice, small, uh, yeah, we went into the next year. Valentine's Day, also my anniversary. I have a story time about that. So, I need to go, go find video. Um, then, COVID hit hard. Kids stopped going to school. Everyone, people weren't going to work like that. There was no toilet paper um, anywhere. Uh, it, was, it was hectic. Daily routine and all that just went. We were just trying to survive. Right, and not catch COVID. We had um, one of the largest civil rights movements in history. I literally get tingles. I have tingles going through my body just speaking of George Floyd, Brown Taylor, everything that was going on like that. And it just, y'all, that was a moment for us. Very rough moment. So we, uh, you know, we got that. Then we had election year. It's just a lot has been going on. And it, a lot has been going on with my hair. Good, bad, disappointing. I realized that um, I don't like to, I don't know why I just grab my face like that. I don't know. I don't like doing my own hair. I will be honest, I can maintain my own hair and I have been doing it for the year, but I, it's something nice and beautiful about feeling pampered and getting your hair done that I, I feel like I only do this every six weeks. I, um, I am really thinking about going to, so my aunt has locks and her loctician actually just relocated to Charlotte. So I, I'm thinking about taking that little two hour drive over to Charlotte and definitely letting her bless this head. I feel like for something I only ever do every six to seven weeks, 
it is fine to splurge and get my hair done. So that is what we are going to do. I think I need a little drink of water. So uh, I also noticed that changing my hair really did make me um, reassess other things like my weight, my skin, my makeup, my, my eating. Mm. I went vegetarian. Crazy, right? I went vegetarian, but I mainly eat plant-based. Like, I still like my cheese and cream, heavy whipping cream and, and, and ice cream and stuff like that. So, I am not vegan, but most of my, most of everything I have is heavy plant-based. So, there was that. There was, um, I stopped wearing makeup as often. I just went back to getting my nails done. A lot has changed. And that is another video. I'm going to have to do like maybe like a part two to this or, you know, probably do a different video of me going vegetarian. I'm excited about that because I've learned that there's a lot of stuff that I still can very much enjoy. Just remove the meat. Like, come on. I learned how to really make some black eyed peas popping without meat. But this is not what that is about. Right. But I do think that my eating, my eating habits changing has affected my hair as well. It has affected my hair as well. Like I said before, you know, it's not so much about what you put on your hair. It's about what you put into your hair. When I changed my diet like that, I, I feel like I didn't lose anything with me with taking meat out um, because I love vegetables. I love beans. I love other proteins and, and things like that. So I just enjoyed it more. And I really got to really enjoy pasta pasta and rice more so I can get my fill up when I'm trying to eat something like a little rice bowl. That's what's up. So, um, well, there you have it. That is my one year lock update. Um, I'll do more videos about that, but I wanted to put this out there. Um, I hope that y'all are having a blessed time. I hope that you are safe, that you are happy, that you are healthy uh, know that you are special, that you are unique, that you are divinely created, and there is no one, no one, baby, that can be you better than you can be you. So, on that note, I will catch y'all later. Peace and hair grease.